All right, guys, how's it going? East Banglers out here. We're talking fishing all the time, like always. Today, we're talking bass fishing, Lake Chabot, Castro Valley, California. But specifically, we want to talk March. We want to talk, you know, the end of February, March. And the reason we want to do that is because that's what's, you know, current right now. That's what's going to help you in the next five weeks. Let's talk about fishing the pre-spawn as it transition in, transitions into the spawn. Let's talk about males building beds on the opposite side of Raccoon Point because the males will start to pull up and uh, you can get some of them. Uh, you're always going to get the biggest fish to spawn early. So if you guys are going for the big mamas, and I know you are, you want to really think about it like this. Less fish are going to spawn early, but the bigger fish are going to spawn early. Now, you know how it is. The females, they're big. The males are not that big generally. So a lot of these males are going to go ahead and start getting these uh, beds ready. And uh, that requires them to fan the bed, clean the bed area of sediment or whatever debris that might be in there and then uh, get it ready and they have a process so let's talk about what you want to do what do you want to do it's march it's the end of february you're bass fishing lake chabot well here's what you want to focus on you want to focus on some of these points let's talk about alder point very good point something worth you know fishing Definitely worth stopping there and fishing offshore on that point. That point right there, a lot of these fish pull up and they're kind of like, you know, going to go into the cove. They're going to go into coots. They're going to go across over um, on the other side of Alder. <clears throat> so these fish are actually going to go as well the opposite end. So they've got a, they've got a large area that they can you know, gradually push out as the warmer waters, the warmer temperatures, I'm sorry, the warmer temperatures create the warmer water. And then, um, you know, those fish are going to move up more and more, especially with uh, water rising right now, you know, in general. But these fish, you got to remember, Alder Point, the point that intersects with the island, the small island, that is key. That's probably my favorite staging area for pre-spawn bass. One of the other areas is, well, it's hard to describe exactly, but um, it's, it's um, I'm trying to think of the right way to describe it. Basically, it's about a quarter mile to the left of Strawberry. It's a smaller indentation. Doesn't look like much uh, of a point, but it has a bunch of toolies on it. So that's what makes it special. You're going to notice so there's a lot of toolies right there, toolie patches. And that's an exceptional point um, for staging bass and for post spawn bass as well. So those areas are really good. And Along the Thule line in Raccoon Point and Strawberry Point, there's a cove right there across from all that. You know, there's just a line of Thule's that is phenomenal for a lot of those males that are pulling up early and getting ready. That That's a phenomenal bite right there. You know, so generally March could be if i had to pick one month that i wanted to fish at lake chabot it would be march so if you guys aren't excited you should be uh it's that time of year mondo bass are gonna get caught out there and uh are you gonna be the one to catch it is the question so listen guys here's what you want to do you want to have attractants you want to have patience fish slow the water temperature is warming up. So fish slow. These fish are getting more and more active. But don't overwork a lure. 
don't overwork your bait. That's one of the biggest mistakes with bass fishing in general. A lot of people start out fast or they stay at a particular pace. You know, it's always better to start out slow. Okay, here's another thing you guys really want to keep in mind. You know, the feeder creeks and all that, they're going to have the coldest water temps in the lake. So generally, the back of the lake is going to have some of the water warmer temps. So one of the other areas you're really going to want to focus on when you're at Lake Chabot is back there in the Bass Cove area. The Bass Cove area has multiple staging areas. Across from Bass Cove, there's some points. Those are staging areas. There's also, you know, oh, there's a point right, um, it's quite significant. It's right, uh, it's the, co it's, um, there's a cove between Bass Cove and then there's this point on the right. And uh, that point is significant as, as well. So those are your staging areas and bass are gonna move into all those coves. So start at the staging area, work into those cove areas. And if you don't, if you're not getting any uh, males that pulled up, you know, cause sometimes if you have like a sunny day, those males will pull up and then say there's a cloudy day, maybe temperatures drop 10 degrees, maybe there's a little rain involved. There are times, you know, when they might uh, retreat off that and then uh, come back the next day when the sun comes out. So these are all things to keep in mind right now. So you, you know, just remember guys, jig and a pig, black and blue, but black and brown and amber, black and amber, brown and amber. You want a jig and a pig. Um, that's what I would fish right now. Uh, black and blue is really popular. Um, brown and purple so you want to be throwing jig and a pig you want to be throwing a rigs you want to be throwing swim baits medium large extra large these are all things you want to be uh, focusing on another thing you guys really want to do is uh, if you guys like throwing um, pretty much any kind of creature bait or something along the bug you know some kind of a bug or a but those work really well flipping those um into the tw in, into the same areas that you're gonna you know fish your jigs and stuff like that and same areas we're talking about um but don't forget you know these fish are really bulking up they're getting that calcium they're they need that calcium and that's what's in the crawfish so there's a you know there's a good crawfish population in that lake it's healthy and uh those fish it's essential they don't have a a choice it's uh they you know they they need that pro they need uh that calcium from those cra those crayfish they have to have it it's essential for their spawn so that's all key i hope some of this stuff helped guys this is all information to get you on more fish so we got locations we got some baits slow down slow it down stay positive hang in there and get ready because generally you know you're gonna get a good fish all right guys stay tuned thanks for uh, listening